Good evening, guys. It's time to review Dragon Ball Super episode 54. Now, um, I have to say, this episode was very good in comparison to last week's. So, the basic gist of it this week is, Trunks, um, basically goes to the pond early in the morning and basically does some vi some visual training to where he obviously um, focuses and imagines himself fighting against black. Although the only problem is Trunk sees himself losing and this freaks him out. Now, while this is going on, um, Shu actually tells Mai about what Trunks is trying to do, and that he's being so focused, literally nothing can wake him up, or disturb him, rather. So, Mai actually does something, I guess, pretty funny, but pretty stupid as well. Um, she, she uh, visualizes her um, future selves last second in Trunks' arms and she imagines the two of them kissing. Well, after that, it cuts to Pilaf trying to mess around with the uh, program for uh, the uh, time machine that Boma and her dad had, had been working on. And uh, what he ends up doing is he ends up uh, making it work better, so he, he's still stuck with them. And then we cut to Samasu and his mentor real quick, and his uh, mentor realizes that um, um, his tea hasn't been made with the same quite level of sweetness that it usually is, although Samasu maintains that he's been using the same level of sugar or whatever guys like in their morning tea. Um, but his uh, mentor realizes that um, Zamasu's been acting different ever since uh, Goku, Whis, and Bills showed up. And uh, Zamasu is still saying that after his mentorship looks at another planet 10,000 years in the future, or in the past, I forget, through a crystal ball, Zamasu still maintains we should wipe him out while they got the, while they got the chance. And his mentor still says that, that, that that would be interfering with the God Destruction's job. And he basically, finally convinces Zamasu to um, lay off it or he realizes that the only way to, for Zamasu to understand this is to show him so they actually go into this little like kind of mini vault thing where um, the Elder Kai um, brings out a guitar earrings but reminds Zamasu that if he puts both of them on at once, um, they'll, they'll be, they'll be fused together, so he only puts the one on the opposite ear so that the earrings do not cause their permanent fusion. Permanent, unless he gets followed by Majin Buu. <laughs> um, so, they go back to this planet, but Still, Zamasu maintained his point that as long as humans exist, um, the world will never be at peace. And then, um, once uh, Goku and the others get back from here, verse 10, um, they basically tell Trunks that Zamasu has no, no connection to Black, even though his energy signature is very similar and then uh it basically cuts to Vegeta basically telling Trunks 
I'm going to train you. And Vegeta basically tells him throughout this, I want you to come at me with everything that that you've got. And Trunks is like, wow, Dad, the last time we did this is when we were trained to go up against Cell. And Vegeta basically... And then Trunks uh, basically goes Super Saiyan 2, and then Vegeta says, Ah, oh, that's pathetic, that's all you can do? And then he um, transforms into Super Saiyan Blue, and Trunks basically realizes that, or starts to think that there's no reason for him to be involved in the fight against Black since Vegeta and Goku had become so strong. And then Vegeta basically says, if 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 you hadn't have been so weak, your mother would still be alive. So that causes Trunks to tap into his ultra form, but obviously that's still no match for Vegeta and SS Blue because he pretty much manages to bang Trunks' head into the ground so hard that he goes back to its normal form. And, uh, Trunks and, uh, Vegeta basically says, If you really want to call yourself a Saiyan and my son, you won't lose to anyone ever again. And then he basically yells at Trunks pretty much for defeating Black as his only purpose and basically reminds him of the same pride, much like he did against uh, Gaba in the uh, Universe 6's tournament. So yeah guys, that was uh, pretty much the uh, gist of the episode. Again, a very good episode in my opinion. 9 out of 10 for this one, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Keep on rocking. Yeah.